All right, buddy, keep it moving. Tonight. You can see the real flag next to London, so you walk in and see that every day, and that's kind of something you, you you're, know you're striving to make is that real Olympic team. We take you behind the scenes of Olympic training. At the Olympic Games, there's a lot of people, but they're not all cheering for the U.S. team. One hundredth of a second separates the top eight. In Omaha, it feels like it's all for you. More than 1,700 American swimmers are preparing for the biggest race of their lives, the U.S. Olympic swim trials in Omaha. Jump in, okay? For the third straight time, when it comes to the water, the road to the Olympics first goes through Omaha. We've talked about having Omaha be the kind of the permanent or long-term home for the trials. For the next half hour, from WOWT 6 News, if you cannot do it, no one can. Yeah, let's let's go for that. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Buddy. Game over. Brian Mastry reports. Train trials glory. Sixty days to Omaha. Good evening. I'm Brian Mastry. We are coming to you tonight from Colorado Springs, Colorado. We are 100 days away from the Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 100 days. That means we are 60 days away from Omaha and the U.S. Olympic swim trials. Before American swimmers can go to South America, though, they must first get their ticket punched in Omaha. I'm standing on the pool deck of the U.S. Olympic Training Center here in Colorado. Some U.S. national swimmers are behind us. So what is it about Omaha for the U.S. swim trials to be there now for three straight Olympics? I love the downtown area. So fun in Omaha. Training in Colorado, Olympic gold medalist Jessica Hardy can't wait to get back to Omaha for her third swim trials. It's a wonderful experience. While some of her fellow swimmers will be ultra focused on the competition in the pool, she functions at a higher level when she stays distracted between races. I don't remember the name of the street, but the cobblestone downtown area is so fun to walk around and old market. Old market shop in the boutiques and awesome restaurants. Um, we're always looking for recommendations if you have any suggestions. Lane six, Jessica Hardy is looking good. As they come to the wall, it's Hardy. The goosebump factor from four years ago immediately comes back when she hears the word Omaha, because that led to a gold medal in the London pool. The Olympic trials are unlike any other competition you go to. The crowds are the most supportive crowd I've ever swum for. And in Omaha. At the Olympic Games, there's a lot of people, but they're not all cheering for the U.S. team. Jessica Hardy! In Omaha, it feels like it's all for you. It's just such a, an amazing vibe in that pool. Literally standing behind the blocks, your intestines are shaking, and you just, I've never had a bigger buzz in my life than competing in Omaha. <laughs> At 29 years old. I tell these stories of my trips and they're like, we weren't born yet, you know? Jessica Hardy is one of the elder statesmen of the U.S. swim team. I have had people on the national team tell me that I came and like spoke to them when they were age groupers. So I guess I'm getting kind of old now. <laughs> like, you know, brought my Olympic medals to Simone Manuel like as when she was a young girl. And now she's on the national team and will probably make the Olympic team too. So it's, it's cool to kind of come full circle. All right, buddy, keep it moving. When it comes to experience, John Urbanchek has her beat. Two good Hondas, work it, work it. Coach has been to nine Olympics. Over the years, his swimmers are responsible for 11 Olympic gold medals. Okay, Connor. On this morning at the Olympic training pool in Colorado Springs, he's working with Connor Dwyer. Dwyer made his first Olympic team four years ago. And Dwyer's down. The whole atmosphere of Omaha having Olympic trials is uh, something special. It's, I love that we're having it in Omaha because I swam well there. I made my first Olympic team there. The 27-year-old went on to win gold. Omaha is awesome. I, I love that city just based on the fact it's been good to me. So I'm looking forward to going back. Dwyer, who grew up in Chicago, remembers the ease of getting around the CenturyLink Center four years ago. From the hotel being so convenient to the pool, from how they set up the warm-up pool to the main stage venue, 
Um, and I think just how well 08 and 12 went and the energy of the stadium, how the athletes liked it. You can go out and eat with your parents and still get back and go uh, get to your, or your hotel easily. Here in Colorado Springs. I've been here for 23 days. The 200 should be negative split by two seconds. Go out smooth and bring it home. Coaches often tell the Olympic hopefuls they're here for three reasons. To eat, sleep, and swim. That's it. Nutrition and eating plays a huge role in recovery for us. And I know uh, there's been crazy articles about this, the calories that swimmers consume. And I think that's pretty spot on. We do tend to eat a lot, but uh, try and keep it pretty healthy. Think of it this way. Swimmers need fuel to re-energize. Connor Dwyer logs nearly 10 miles every day in the pool. Two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening. We can destroy a buffet. I guess people who don't work out two or three times a day are wondering um, why we eat as much as we do. We can't eat as much junk as guys do. Like They can seemingly eat like cinnamon rolls and French toast and stuff and still have six packs, but I'm always in calorie deficiency as an athlete, so I am constantly hungry. Like 24 hours a day, I'm hungry. Jessica Hardy swims close to four miles a day. I don't count my calories, I just eat as much as I can. Healthy food. But even elite athletes have vices. M&M cookies are my biggest guilty pleasure. Cookies? M&M cookies are the best. Coming up. I hope we never lose that intimacy. The head of U.S. Swimming offers perspective on this year's swim trials and the possibility of Omaha hosting it again. <laughs> Training isn't just about water. I have more speed with more strength. And meet one swimmer who already punched his ticket to Rio. His races often include the unpredictable. Wildlife comes in, so sharks came into the venue. When this WOWT 6 News special, Train, Trials, Glory, 60 Days to Omaha, returns.